So we're gonna put two 16 by eight big squares and we got the ones with the borders. It was pretty cost effective um, and it had phenomenal reviews. So we're gonna give it a shot. It's still unplugged right there, but this should give us a good idea. Holy sh This is J-Rod. This is J-Rod's Garage YouTube channel, where you never know quite what we're going to get into, from racing these 90s cars to building them and the occasional street outlaw content. And most importantly, like to have fun with our friends and family, so be sure to click and follow along. grinding the floors today because we had carpet in here for the last six or seven years i'm trying to make this my dream garage j rod's garage per se so we're we ripped it all up we are grinding the floors today as you can see it's pretty na nasty messy job we're trying to get off all the glue all the contaminants all the oils god knows how long this building has been here probably 20 years or so uh, it's here when i bought it and i've been on the property for nine years um, so we're trying to get this all ground off and then we will go back in after we get the whole 1500 square feet ground down and we will start epoxying the floor. We're also gonna do the work side of the shop. And we got Julio out here today. He is taping and mudding all the little spots in the dry rock or the sheet rock that are damaged because we're gonna go in we're gonna paint the ceiling. We've got the entire shop floor. We got it cleaned out. We've grinded it, uh, the high spots as you can see these high spots the lighter spots on the floor we took a floor grinder hit the top spots acid edged it we uh we hit pretty much everything that the internet told us to do so now we're going to go in with the armor epoxy we chose armor epoxy it was pretty cost effective um and it had phenomenal reviews so we're gonna give it a shot and we're about to lay it down we just got four gallons mixed up in this five gallon jug and then we're gonna do that floor next, but today we're doing this one and uh, we'll post an update soon. I just got done putting the uh, clear coat on. Highly recommend a respirator. I uh, did wear one yesterday, got one on today, made a huge difference. But I think the uh, floor turned out pretty good. I can't wait to do the bigger side and see the things that I learned. But I'm really excited to see how this floor holds up. So I came out to check on the floor this morning and it looks like I had a visitor coming here last night. All right, so we got our new LED shop lights for the shop. As you guys can see, we've painted the ceiling now. Julio got it all done. The old LED lights we just didn't really care about, so we went ahead and painted those. Those are going to come down. We're going to touch that up. Um, we're going to leave the can lights on the outside. You can see there and there, and then these. Uh, I just want to have that little bit of an ambiance light as well as the big LEDs we're going to put in. So I'm sure you guys have seen the new uh, shop lights a lot of people are doing. The big hexagon, awesome LEDs. Well, our friends over at East Coast Lighting reached out to them. I was able to get some from them because they're kind of hard to get right now. They are able to drop ship two kits to us. So we're going to put two 16 by 8 big squares and we got the ones with the borders. So hopefully next time you guys see the ceiling, all this, it's gonna have these badass hexagon LEDs in it. So the kit looks pretty point and shoot. Um, you've got connectors, 180, 90 degree wise, and they just all kind of clip together. They kind of look like this. And uh, you'll just click the light bulb in place 
sets it in and you just kind of put together a big puzzle. These are your power sources here. You plug these into the lights. You've got, uh, you know, your power, your ground, your neutral um, here. And then it uh, should be pretty simple. So we're gonna get them all set up today. Get them all laid out. Garrett's over there setting them up now. Um, it's kind of what they look like. And we're gonna get them all laid out today. And then we're gonna get them all put together. And that's kind of what it's gonna look like. Um, it'll be 16 foot long, eight feet wide. The instructions are pretty, pretty easy. Goes through everything you need to do. Gives you how many pieces you're supposed to have in the kit. Tells you what to do, what not to do. Uh, once again, East Coast lighting. Um, so it's pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to getting these set up and they look pretty easy. It's just gonna be a little time consuming putting uh, the puzzle together, but we'll, uh, we'll get to it. So Garrett had the great idea to kind of lay it out as a puzzle, put all the little pieces where they go so we can kind of make sure we got all the pieces as we go. But as you can see, we've pretty much got it all set up. They did send us a couple extras. So if you open these boxes and there's some extra pieces, don't freak out. But that's kind of them in a nutshell. So we're gonna put it all together now and see how it turns out. So we're about to try to hang the hexagon. And instead of flush mounting it like most people do, we kind of had this idea. I took 25 pound braid fishing string. I tied a polymer knot on the sections. And we're going to try to suspend this about six to eight inches um, off the ceiling to kind of give it a three dimensional effect. So I just took, uh, like I said, it's yeah, just normal braid fishing. I'm sorry, 20 pound, 20 pound braid um, should be sufficient. It should be hidden. You can't really see it at all, especially once it's up on the ceiling. And then we're gonna to try to suspend that about six inches off of the ceiling. So there's a moment of truth. Um, we hung it, like I said, I don't know if you can see it, a couple inches below the ceiling with that braided wire. Um, kind of give it a three dimensional effect. We're gonna see how it looks. Um, Garrett's about to try to power on the, uh, the lights. The border will not be powered on because you can see it's still unplugged right there, but this should give us a good idea. Holy shit, that's bright. That's that looks cool. 